So it is mid 2021 and you think we would all finally have a handle on this whole online Zoom thing and our Zoom calls would look nice and polished like this. When unfortunately, your Zoom calls aren't quite at the quality you hope for and like most people, your video calls still look and sound like this. When in fact, just with a couple of little tips, your video calls could look and sound like this. And in this video, I'll be giving you five tips on how to improve your video calls. Let's go. Tip number one, camera position. Now we've all been on those Zoom calls where we've been looking at people's nostrils and getting those unflattering angles. Now, this one's quite easy to change and does a really big difference. All you have to do is lift your camera height, lift the camera's position. Now, most of our laptops are on our desk, so they're actually lower and we naturally just will look down. I'm gonna use some books for this example, and it's actually what I do most of the time if I'm ever on a video call. I'll just get a box or something lying around, stack some books up, and boom, we have a much better camera angle. Tip number two, lighting. You could use a big expensive video light like this one I've got here from Aperture Lighting and have a big soft box like this, or you could get your hands on this, a video conference light from Yuski Vision. They did send this one to me for free, um, but they didn't ask me to say anything good about it at all. I just thought for this purpose of this video, it's actually really cost effective for the price and what it does. And also the features it has and the lighting, it's definitely more than worth it. So all you have to do is grab a light like this or something similar and boom, you have really good lighting, which is really enhancing your experience. Tip number three, clean your backdrop. Now this may sound like a weird one, but if your background is really messy and cluttered, People are gonna be trying to figure out what is going on back there and not really paying attention at all. So I recommend either getting a backdrop or a setup like this, or even just a clean blank wall. Definitely avoid weird positions that you think look good, but then there's like a half bookshelf coming in and then people are like, what is that weird lantern thing upside down? So sometimes a clean backdrop is better, but if you do have something more interesting, you can also opt for that. But just keep in mind, it's about everything in the frame that matters. Tip four is audio. So now we've got a really good looking image. We need people to hear you more clearly. So I recommend getting a USB mic because then you can just plug it straight into your system and people can hear you really well. I'm using the Rode NT-USB Mini. Now you don't need to use this mic, but I do recommend it because you get something called Rode Connect software. Video about that all there. Otherwise, just get the built-in microphone as close to your mouth as you can. Tip number five, now this is a really weird one and it's also super free as well, smile. So many people forget to smile during their video calls because we're just so still somehow after a year not used to it and that's totally fine. But if you remember to smile, your video presentations will go so much further than you realize and people will engage with you a lot more and it'll be like you're all in the room all over again and they can hear, see and engage with you. You're probably gonna get that promotion next time your boss asks you to present over Zoom. I hope these five video tips have helped you improve your Zoom calls at home. And if you've got any questions at all, put them in the comments along with your favorite tip as well to little hacks, if you will, to improve your video calls. But otherwise, the biggest news I can announce, we did it, we have hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> And as promised, I'm doing a giveaway. That's right, I'm doing a giveaway. And thanks to Aperture, we actually have real prizes and I'm gonna be giving away this light. Firstly, thank you Aperture for being an awesome company and sending me that free to give away for this little channel, making a thousand subscribers. So all you have to do to win this light is like this video, make sure you've subscribed and share this video onto your social media. That's all you gotta do. And remember to tag me, um, all the links are down below if you're interested in that. And yes, you're entered in. I'll be announcing the winner in a next week's video, so make sure you jump on that. And in the meantime, next week as well, I'll be doing the LUT pack drop. That's right, a LUT pack. I'll be giving away three free LUTs to absolutely everyone, and that is in the next video as well, and that'll be a free download. So tune in next week for that video as I give away a light and you also get a bonus light. So thank you all for a thousand subscribers. It's quite huge. I actually didn't think I'd get here. I thought it was gonna be a bit longer than this, um, but thanks heaps. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.